I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. Every once in a while we do a, uh, a full rebuild on a newer piano. Most of the rebuilds, as you can see here, and then lots more in the other room. Let's go have a look. Most of them are pre, like de pre, pre, pre-depression era. So, so very, very old. Uh, like this one is 1882, that's a Model C. We've got, uh, well, all sorts of them that are, that are super old. That, that Mason Hamlin over there, that's a 1925. So very, very old. But every once in a while, like, like this one that I'm going to show you here in a second, there are pianos that aren't that old. This is a 1973. This is a Yamaha U3, and it was, it was used by a very, very serious musician, and so it was just kind of uh, uh, beyond usable life. It was beat up. Which, which is pretty uncommon for 1973. That takes a lot of playing to get to that point. But occasionally there are pianists that will put pianos through their rigors. We actually have a 1986 uh, that we did the same thing on um, upstairs. Okay, so here's the plate. We ended up doing a, a paint job on the plate even though, even though the plate wasn't nearly as extreme as some of these, like, like this one, for example. Let's get a shot. On this side, those are those are 19th century. Some of them plates. You can see those are really, really bad. So 1973, the plate. You know, it's cast iron. It doesn't get that bad as as the action does from use. But nonetheless, we did a paint job. And then over here, we have the smells like lacquer. This is a. It's going to make my eyes tear up. Here's the, uh, here's the soundboard that uh, it had a number of cracks in it. If you, if you look carefully, I think this is probably, well, yeah, so you can see it. There was a crack here. There's another one here all the way. And then if you get, let's get close ups and see a, a crack that extends all the way from the pin block all along there so all of that has been filled and then relacquered so the next step is uh, is to put that put that paint painted plate back. actually I'll show you one more one more thing we're gonna put that plate back on as soon as the as soon as the lacquer is fully dry and then uh, and then start restringing it and then after that we'll get to the all of the action work, which so new hammers and new new whippens and dampers and all of that. Here is the uh, here's the other thing I wanted to show you. This is a a map of of the plate. If you can you can kind of get a shot of that from above. So that's just a picture of the plate, and then these are these are all of the screws that hold the plate onto the to the strung back, and we've got all of those beautifully polished cleaned up looking like brand new check that out so good progress